I always love when I see headlines like that. Anyway, hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Of course, the big news today is President Obama wants to protect us all against a cyber attack. And to do that, he's going to gather all of our information to protect us from that cyber attack. <laughs> I know. Some of these things, they just have to make you laugh. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. I have to see the back of my head, see? <sighs> That's not that exciting. No, I can't see very exciting. See, you can see my ears. Look you can see. Did you, did you cut your hair even in the back? Probably. <laughs> what happens is, look for this in the beach party movies. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, this morning they're trying to explain how they're not trying to turn off the conservatives of their party. And they're not being hostile to the conservatives when they all know they're being hostile. To put it this way, Fox News is shifting towards the, uh, shifting away from the conservatives and going and attacking them right now. Bill O'Reilly is now attacking the conservatives. Um, the only conservative it looks like they have left on Fox News is Sean Hannity because they are, I mean, all of the people are basically, it's like, you know, we're either go, it's our way or the highway and we can't have you being conservative anymore mm -hmm. because the liberal, okay, they said that the networks only care, the, the demographics are totally screwed now, networks only care about people born after 1980. If you were born between before 1980, you're screwed as far as they're concerned anymore because they said those people born before, after 1980, are making the rules for this nation. Mm. Well, I'm going to tell you something, folks. I was at NAB. I had lunch with a lot of people one day, very expensive lunch, and they're telling me, okay, how I got invited in? They said, oh, you were obviously born after, you know, before 1980. You're welcome. And then a guy comes by, and he'd actually paid for lunch, and they told him, uh, there's a Nathan's hot dog stand around the corner <laughs> for people that were born after 1980, and he said, uh, but I paid for it. And the guy took money out of his wallet and handed it to him. He said, don't come back. Are you serious? He did not want, the, the, because uh, he, he told, they told me at the, at the lunch, he said that the United States may worship the ground that people born after 1980 walk on, the rest of the world doesn't. Mm. So that, that is the, how the rest of the world feels about the United States at the moment. The, we, we've got our priorities screwed. 75% of the people in the world were born before 1980, and the United States is catering to an absolute minority. Mm -hmm. And Obama to travel to Connecticut Monday to discuss gun violence. Oh, I mean, they're they are they went ballistic. That's why the the uh, okay McConnell voted against the closure thing, but the senators that voted for it are trying to explain how we're not we're not standing against the. Uh, uh, we're trying to do, we're trying to get reasonable gun control and that we're, you know, if they get unreasonable things, we're going to stand up against it. And then, like one of the guys said, yeah, and hell freezes over before that's going to happen because they've already sided with the president again. They sided, they got, um, Demo they, the Democrats sided with the Republicans that be on, uh, on the thing. But 16 Republicans walked off on the party, totally walked off on the party that said, they, they, um, uh, they were talking to Toomey this morning, and Toomey, they were getting, he said, can you show me one thing that is in this bill that you're pushing that would have made a difference in, um, in, in you know, in all these shootings? He said, well, we have to start somewhere. And he said, that's what the Democrats say every time they want to take something away. We have to start somewhere. Mm -hmm. And the guy said simply, uh, what, uh, conservative body, he said, why don't you just simply, you know, um, he, he gave him a thing and says, Pat Toomey for Democratic nomination for Senate. Mm -hmm. Because he said, you're not welcome in the Republican Party anymore, I guarantee you that. And Google to sell second gen Nexus 7 tablet. Yeah, because Google's trying to get its own system out there. I mean, Google is basically expanding all over the place. But the funny thing is, Google start is um, Google is stagnant because Google basically lives off of um, services, and if people are not on the internet as much anymore, they're not making as much on the services. So the stock, while it's not falling, it's just, it's basically, it's flat. And it's been flat for over, for the last three years. China is by developing digital eyewear similar to Google Glass. I can't see why you would want Google Glass to begin with. What I does mean, Google Glass do? Basically, you sit there, that stupid thing where you look at the, you know, um, you can look at the thing through one glass. What? It's a, it's a computer, it's a glass, you can basically, uh, you don't, don't have to have this. You can read it off your glasses now. Which oh, those. Yeah, yeah it makes it look futuristic. Okay. 
futuristic. I, I had them on to give you So. Did you put them on? Yeah, I had oh. them on. I didn't like. It looked like something. I, used to make, I like them. I used to make movies in the 1960s where we'd had oh. those same effects. And can modem lights warn of danger? I had no clue. <laughs> <laughs> modem lights. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really a stupid one in the news. Well, okay, it's Friday, news is stopped. <laughs> S-E-C. That's because they all went to Coachella. Yeah. No, actually, it's going to be hot out there. Yeah, you know, it's really good. Actually, the weather is really getting bad at the moment again. S-E-C says companies may announce key data on social media. I know. Okay. Which basically means that uh, you're going to have so much insider trading being pumped out there on the system now. It's just like... Um, they're letting everybody do crowdfunding and they have no rules and when they have come down with the rules there's going to be rules on the social media thing too which is going to take out the company mm -hmm. just watch mm -hmm. and sec says companies may announce key data on social media you know she liked it so she read it twice of course and did you know what the sec says <laughs> <laughs> detroit yeah. electric unveils a hundred thirty five thousand dollar battery powered sports car okay the problem is there's no um, there is no demand for those things this is what i keep people keep talking about it, the, 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 okay, some of the really smart people have done the statistics. It takes 17 to 20 years to break even on uh, uh, on, a, on a green power, uh, on an electric car, and, and 7 to 10 years to break even on a hybrid car. And the problem comes is the hybrids and the green cars are toxic to the end, to the universe, so they, they have to be disposed of as, as, a, as a toxic waste. And the uh, the figures that they're putting out does not include the amount of money it costs to actually build the vehicle. Everyone, every every hybrid, every uh, solar car, every um, uh, weird fuel car, including every car, costs three or four times as much to build as they're actually charging for them. So if they're charging one hundred thirty-eight thousand, it's probably costing four or five hundred. But Obama is funding it though. And where in the world is it safe to travel? Well, nowhere if you're an American, but see, I'm, I'm different. I got a German name, so. <laughs> uh, Detroit emergency manager disavows a letter on union contracts. Well, yeah, because what's going to happen is they're going to, the union contracts, that I heard them talking last night, they're going to basically, all of the pension plans, everything is going to be dumped within the next, within the next month or so because the city is busted. You know that they have lost 75% um, of their population there's whole blocks where there's nobody living on the blocks anymore in Detroit. It was it was a massive city, a, a motor city, and now it's a, like it, it's basically like what happened after New Orleans was hit by the flooding, and the white people left. They've all left, and Detroit is the largest black city in the nation now. Wow! In an ancient site unearthed in Iraqi home of Abraham. Well, yeah. Well, anybody know that that uh, that, that, that think that that little thing of Me they go to Mecca. Mecca's got that area all enclosed. That's also one of Abraham's places, folks. They work because um, the way it works is Muslims really want to meet in hugs. Basically, they're all Muslims and Jews are all offshoots off the same. Area. So they're all from the same family. They're all from the same family. It's just a tribal warfare. That's it's what, like sibling rivalry. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's been going on for since the days of Abraham. And U.S. to send missile defenses to Guam over North Korea threat. Yeah, well, we talked the Obama administration that got off a lie yesterday. They, they did. Uh, okay, a Democratic member of Congress was sent, uh, sent a memo, and he just assumed that everybody had the memo, and he simply, it said, well, it said not classified, and he just simply told his constituency that the... Uh, that the Defense Department has determined that we can be hit by a nuclear, by a ballistic missile with a nuclear warhead on it from uh, Korea and that they are very capable of firing it and the Obama administration has been saying it's years away. No, it's now there. They can do it. They can do it tomorrow, which is now why the Obama administration. And yesterday they were all, that's the morning we were all on this, where they have to be part of the international community. Today, after the memo was released and everybody's pissed about it, it's you know, that they're going to have to understand if they fire, we're going to fire back. Um, yeah, and if we won't fire back for a simple reason, because if we don't do it right, it hits China. And if we hit China, anything is China, China's going to let loose with everything they got. Uh -huh. And so Obama can end up causing World War III if he doesn't do it right. You, you hit them, you have to hit them um, with, with normal weapons. If you take them out that way, it's China. <laughs>